Hey peeps, this is going to be the quickest ever turnaround for a video. I'm filming this the night before. I'm filming this Monday night. You're going to see it Tuesday afternoon. So I love bagels. My sister recently came. She brought me some bagels from New York. And I have been wanting to make this for a while. It's um, lox cream cheese. And there's so many recipes that use so little lox and so much cream cheese. Um, and then I saw this other recipe from this woman. She's like, I think she used like eight ounces of cream cheese. Uh, no, sorry, eight ounces of lox or eight ounces of the salmon to one ounce of cream cheese. I was like, that's yes, but also, eh, I don't know. So I was playing with the ratios, and this is what I came up with. So I have six ounces of cream cheese here, and I have 12 ounces on this um, for this packet of um, salmon. This is from Costco, and I just buy them and freeze them. And what I'm going to do, and a lot of people do use the food processor, I'm not, because I want my pieces of lox to be, or smoked salmon or whatever, to be um, meatier. Like I want them to have a bit of um, bite to them. So I'm actually just going to cut them up initially with the pizza wheel, and then this mezzaluna, and I'm just going to keep going until it's the texture I want. Then I'm going to, this cream cheese has been sitting out for like maybe an hour or two. You don't have to because I'm going to cube it up, then whip it right here. I'm going to whip it blades and I will show you what that looks like when it's done so this is what I mean it's really nicely minced up little pieces can you see that I don't know why the light's always weird here but yeah and then the cream cheese is whipped so there we go there's that and then there's that so I'm actually gonna whip I'm gonna pour the cream cheese in and then I'm going to um, whip the um like whip it in to break it up a little bit more because there's some pieces you know when you use scissors and you cut stuff up or you use like whatever tools and you cut stuff up and it's not as cut up as you'd like it to be or as broken up as you'd like it to be whipping it is going to help that so that's what we're going to do we're just going to whip it going to pour it in then whip it for a little while get a spatula and uh spatula some stuff down hey peeps so i whipped this for three minutes will it look better if i take it to this light I don't know. I whipped this for three minutes on a medium. First I started off light to get it all incorporated, then mixed it on a medium because um, I wanted it, so it did break up and it broke up a little bit more. And here's a spatula. Um, I tasted it. You should taste yours. This is like I said, super simple because the other recipe, I'm actually gonna link her recipe in the description bar. Her recipe is a whole lot more things, salt, pepper, pretty much everything you'd put on a lox bagel with cream cheese except tomato um, I never put tomato on mine but except tomato so she puts like onion salt pepper I think she puts capers and stuff I can't always afford capers capers are expensive so I don't usually eat capers on mine unless I'm getting it outside in the street when I make my own it is toasted pretty much toasted everything bagel um, cream cheese lox and red onion I didn't want to put red onion in this because I didn't want to make this watery that's it but this tastes good really simple just and I'm gonna have this in the fridge um, there's no flavors to really develop because the cream cheese and the lox is gonna taste how they gonna taste um, and there you go I'm gonna put this in a container and I'm gonna have this with my breakfast in the morning I'm so happy this is gonna be so simple so quick um, I'm gonna use a spoon I think you can use a knife with this this is chopped up fine if you can use like knife I use a spoon usually when I do stuff because it's just easier it's less likely to cut through the bread whatever but I will see you all in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this. Bye.